Hey everybody, it is Cameron here. In this video, I'm gonna get you started with a Letta Deep Research Agent in just a few minutes. I'll show you how you can get your first research query, watch your agent build a research plan, and prepare a final report. Once you've got the basic research agent done, I can show you how to customize your Stateful agent to whatever your problem is. Because Stateful agents in Letta don't just die when the query is done like they do everywhere else. They can learn and self-improve. This is like working with a colleague who you can repeatedly ask to look at various subjects and then they can track that information forward as they go along. Let's go ahead and dive in. Here I am in my research project. I'm gonna scroll down. You can create an agent down here or you can go to agents and then create new agent. And here you'll be able to see um, templates and starter kits. So if you scroll down to create an agent from a starter kit, we've prepared a deep research agent for you so that it's ready to go. So I'm gonna click that. Here we are inside of the agent view. If you've used LED as an ADE before, this should be pretty familiar. You can skip ahead a little. On the left-hand side, you'll see information about the agent, so the agent's name. You can select a model. I prefer to use Claude Sonnet or any of the Anthropic models. They're generally very good at working on deep research tasks. You can look at tools here on the left, so you can see conversation search, memory insert, replace, send message, web search, create research plan, and reset research. These two here are custom tools that are automatically imported for you when you click the starter kit. On the right-hand side, you'll see the various memory blocks that the agent has pre-configured. You can look at each of these blocks in more detail by hitting the top right. If you look at the human block, you will be able to see information that the agent is tracking about whoever it's talking to, so me in this case. There is a knowledge block here, which tracks information that the agent kind of knows generally such as maintaining awareness of human preferences and interests. It focuses on citation integrity and intellectual honesty and thoroughness. The persona block is similar, but it contains information about the agent's personality, deep thought, and it also provides fairly detailed instructions about how to go about deep research. In general, that basically means preparing a research plan, following out each of the steps, clearing out items in the research plan as it goes, and then finally writing a research report when it's done. There's a research plan, which has not been filled out yet, and then a research report. If you know you're gonna have a really long report, I would make sure that you increase the size limit of the research report. So I'm just gonna make this 200,000. Let's ask our agent to research something. All right, so I'm gonna ask it to look up major players in the AI memory system space. And let's watch it get started. All right, here it is. It is reasoning through creating a research plan. It's gonna call the tool. This tool accepts a few different tasks, so surveying current AI memory architectures, identifying leading companies, examining recent breakthrough papers and technologies, analyzing practical applications. And you'll notice here that it updated. The memory block is now updated with this current plan. This tool just adds little checkboxes to the beginning. So it adds an empty checkbox and then step one, empty checkbox, step two, et cetera, with each of the tasks. Now the agent is gonna start on step one, which is surveying AI memory architectures and approaches. And so it's gonna use Exa web search here to do its, its research. Now it has completed each of the steps. It did all four of these steps together. So it just decided it could cross them all off at the same time. In this case, our agent has just chosen to write the research report inside of the message that it sends back. And you can flick through this and see some information about working memory, episodic memory, semantic memory, procedural memory. Scroll down, you will see Letta, formerly G MemGPT, the leading open source memory framework now commercialized. That's us and it has self-editing memory, a REST API, and the agent development environment, which is what we're currently looking at. And you can kind of keep scrolling through the report here. Um, and it concludes by saying, this research reveals that AI memory systems have evolved from experimental features to critical infrastructure components with clear leaders emerging in both academic research and commercial implementation. This field is rapidly advancing towards standardized production ready solutions that will define the next generation of AI applications. So that's how you use deep research. And then if you want to have, if you want it to go again, And then if you want your agent to go again, you can just ask it to do a different topic. And you just say, hey, can you research Letta? And then the agent comes with a reset research tool that will clear out the research plan and the research report. 
So here it is creating a research plan. So while this is happening, I want to try and personalize this a little bit more. The real advantage of working with stateful deep research agents is that they can fine tune how they research over time with respect to your exact preferences. So this is just a starter kit. It's intended to be modified by you to suit your own purposes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to update the memory architecture so that it kind of understands what I'm looking for, the kind of things that I think about, and how to just generally do its job better. So I'm going to go to the block manager up here. This is just going to track kind of key insights and information, right? These are like top level takeaways that it gets every time it does research. I'm actually going to do research ideas. So this will help the agent start tracking ideas that it might be, might be useful for me to see. I'm also going to add the memory rethink tool, which will help it rewrite entire blocks a little easier. We don't include it by default because it can be damaging, but I think I'm okay with my agent using the rethink tool. And flicking through it here, it made a seven piece research plan. So the background, business model, team and leadership. And then we get to the concluding report here. Letter represents a transformative company in the AI agent space. Ooh. They extracted some information about our pricing. It pulled out some information about our investors, um, our direct competitors, as well as highlighting advantages against them. And our conclusion is, Leda represents a compelling opportunity at the intersection of academic excellence, market timing, and technical innovation. The company has successfully commercialized groundbreaking research into a platform addressing critical AI agent infrastructure needs. I agree. I didn't tell it to say any of this, by the way. It, it wouldn't have found this. We are in a strong position, and I agree. And then I see that it didn't update any of my insights, knowledge, research ideas, etc. So I'm going to ask it to do that now. So we can see here that it has extracted some key research from the letter research. And so now what this means basically is that anytime the agent does research after this fact, it will remember the kind of key takeaways from this research report that it wrote. So it's better able to fine tune its understanding about future research tasks as it relates to Letta. So this is not like your standard deep research agent that you use on Claude or ChatGPT or whatever. It learns about what you want. The more you use this agent, the more you work with it, the more you update its architecture, the better it becomes at your task. And then it added a few other ideas. So thanks for watching. I hope you can get your own deep research agent up and running. They work really well. I almost exclusively use a lot of deep research agents now, especially because I can tailor them to the things that I wanted to learn about and I can help my deep research agent understand how it is exactly that I think. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. And if it's nighttime, I hope you have a lovely day tomorrow. The video's over.